Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about ocean acidification. Also, we will be discussing what are the effects of ocean acidification, why it happens and also what are coral reefs and how does the ocean acidification affect the coral reefs. So without wasting any time, let's get started. we will start with the definition of ocean acidification so ocean acidification refers to reduction in the ph of ocean over an extended period of time so what is happening here is the ph is reducing of the ocean water also it is for an extended period of time for a longer period of time it will happen then only it will be called as ocean acidification now we'll talk about the major reason the primary cause or the major reason behind ocean acidification is the uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere by the water bodies so the carbon dioxide that is present in the atmosphere that is increasing day by day due to uh, human activities and that uptake of carbon dioxide will cause the ocean acidification. We'll see how in the um, in further slides, but for now we can understand that the primary cause is the uptake of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in the water bodies. That is, we can uh, call, we can talk about oceans, we can talk about lakes or ponds or any of the water body that is um, taking up the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It will cause the acidification in that water body, right? So now let's see how it happens. So before moving on to the chemical reactions that are occurring in the ocean, first of all, let us see what is pH. So pH is a measure of how acidic or basic water is, right? So if you are measuring the pH of water, how acidic or basic it is, is measured by the pH scale. The scale is from 0 to 14 and if it is between 7 to 0, right? If it is here if it is between 7 to 0 it is acidic in nature if it is between 7 to 14 it is basic in nature and if it is exact 7 it is neutral that is uh, pH of distilled water or pure water will be 7 so pH is nothing but the inverse log of H plus ions so each number right if we are moving from 7 to 6 so each number will represent a tenfold change in the acidity or basicity of water 7 to 6 will mean that the acidity is increasing sev uh, 10 times than before, right? So, if it is moving from 7 to 6, then 6 to 5, it is, it means that acidity of that uh, body or water body of or anything that we are measuring will be increasing 10 times the acidity of that place. So, pH is really a measure of relative amount of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions in the water. What does this mean? That if there are more hydrogen ions in the water, acidity will increase. If hydroxyl ions will be more, that is OH minus ions, then basicity will increase, right? Now, the sources of carbon dioxide, we have talked that the uptake of carbon dioxide from the uh, atmosphere to the oceans will call it cause acidification so what are the sources of carbon dioxide first one is burning of fossil fuels vehicular emissions industrial processes thermal power plants and also deforestation what will deforestation cause it will uh, reduce the number of trees and hence the uptake of carbon dioxide uh, in the trees for photosynthesis will decrease and hence there will be more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so all of these are the sources of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now the chemical reaction that we were talking about what happens exactly happens in the oceans when the uptake of carbon dioxide has happened for example now this co2 plus h2o will mix and it will form a kind of acid that is known as carbonic acid that is h2co3 after that some more reactions will take place that will cause this Right, so from H2CO3 that is carbonic acid, it will convert into bicarbonate, releasing one hydrogen atom. Then bicarbonate will convert into carbonate, re releasing one more hydrogen atom. So how, what, what is happening here is, two hydrogen ions are in the water now. So acidity of the ocean will increase, right. So through this process, we come to know that if CO2 is present in water if co2 is absorbed by water it is taken up by water then these chain reactions will take place 
right so more hydrogen ions in the water means more acidic water so now we have seen the uh, chemical reactions that will occur in ocean and it will cause ocean acidification now we'll see the effects the first effect is the it will harm life forms that rely on carbonate based shells and skeletons so there are many organisms that live in ocean that are uh, that have shells and skeletons that are made up of calcium carbonate so it will harm the carbonate how will it harm the carbonate by this reaction so carbon dioxide that is absorbed by the water of uh, ocean plus water plus the carbonate that is present on the shells will finally form two molecules of bicarbonate so what will happen due to this is that the carbonate will get dissolved day by day and hence the organisms will finally die and the uh, number of organisms that are shell based or are, that have skeletons over their body will finally decrease and hence it will affect the food chain ultimately right so now we'll see the effect on the coral reefs this is the picture of coral reefs that you see you can see that there are a lot of type of organisms that are present in just this picture so you can imagine if there is a large coral reef how uh, many organisms are dependent on it or how many organisms are living around the coral reef so what is a coral reef it is formed by the algae and the calcareous skeleton of certain sealant traits of which coral polyps are the most important so it is nothing but the mutual relationship between the coral polyps and the algae right so how does the uh, ocean acidification is affecting this the coral polyps live on the calcium carbonate exoskeletons of their ancestors adding their own exoskeleton to the existing coral structure so the coral structure is basically uh, the structure of calcium carb carbonate on which coral polyps are living and they are in mutual relationship with the algae ultimately what is happening is the if there is calcium carbonate if they are based on calcium carbonate the reaction i have talked about in the earlier slide that will happen with these also and ultimately what will happen is the coral reefs will decrease the coral reefs will degrade day by day now uh, coral reefs are also called as the rainforest of oceans because they have a lot of variety of organisms that are dependent on it firstly there are a lot of organisms that are living on the coral reefs also there are a lot of types of fishes small fishes large fishes that are dependent on the coral reefs for their food so all of them will be affected due to the uh, acidification in the ocean now another concept is of coral bleaching what is coral be bleaching when corals are stressed by changes in conditions for example there are changes in uh, change in temperature or there is change in ph these are the stressful conditions for the corals so they expel the symbiotic algae the algae that i have talked about that is known as zooxanthellae so the they expel the uh, symbiotic algae living in their tissue causing them to turn completely white so the color that you have seen of the coral uh, of the coral reefs is due to the color of the algae that is zooxanthellae if they come out or if they are expelled out of the coral reefs the color completely turns white so what is problem in that if it is turning white then also there is no problem the problem is that bleaching has the potential to wipe out whole ecosystems as wildlife around the coral can no longer find food they move away or they die the organisms that are dependent upon the coral reefs will not find any kind of food the coral will uh, slowly degrade and ultimately the organisms will move away from that or maybe they will die due to starvation so this is the effect of ocean acidification if it happens it may cause coral bleaching as well as it will cause the degradation of the coral reefs in totality right there are more effects the uh, they are harm organism sensitive to acidity what will ultimately happen is if there are organisms that are sensitive to acidity they will die off or they will not be able to live in the ocean ecosystem properly then there is 
the food chain is affected due to the loss of species if there are uh, species that are dependent on coral reefs or there are other species that are dying off due to other conditions if they are sensitive to acidity ultimately what is happening is these species are being lost and if it will affect the food chain or the food web of the ocean and there is impact on the commercial fisheries and aquaculture because the fishes are dependent upon the coral reefs and we are dependent upon the fishes for fishery and ultimately it will be impacted i hope you have understood ocean acidification and uh, also if we talk about the lake acidification or pond acidification the process and the reactions are the same the effect may be different because the coral reefs are not present in the lakes or the ponds so it will generally affect the organisms that are living in the lake or pond ecosystem i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the content do hit the like button uh, also comment down below your uh, feedback and share it with your friends whoever are preparing for some of the examinations and subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos thank you so much